Hi, family. We are back, and it is another day, and I think we're going to be able to start seeing some green very, very soon. Now, with that being said, I thought today we would go over the top five stocks to buy now, in my opinion, to get us the outsized growth we're looking for, as well as the best crypto to buy now for our portfolios for the long term. And yes, this crypto is the one I think can go 10 to 100 times in the long run. And I keep, I'm going to tell you what, I keep telling you, this is an exciting period of time to be investing. It is during the lowest times in the market that millionaires are truly made in the future. So I'm excited to talk about this. Now, before we get into it, take advantage of the Moon Moon link down below. All you got to do, click my link, put $100 or more in there. You're going to get six free stocks worth up to $15,000. It's a good opportunity to have everybody in the household take advantage of this and enjoy it. Now, of course, as we uh, move on. You, There are other things I like to do here, the shout outs. Let me know where you're from. Just a simple hi. And what is your favorite crypto or are you not invested in crypto? And that's always the, the thing. I don't know if everybody is buying like I am. I'm buying weekly for my crypto if you've been following along. Not everybody is following along with that. And some people don't even have uh, crypto in their portfolio. Personally, I think everybody should have five to 10% in the portfolios. Uh, but not everybody believes in that. So let me know what percentage of your portfolio is made up of crypto. I think mine is roughly 10 to 15% at this particular moment in time. Uh, not always though. Uh, sometimes there's more, sometimes there's less. Now, before we get into the best stocks to buy now and that crypto and a lot of conversations about where we see this market going, how about the shout outs from the last video? Dana Schaefer, Sudi, uh, Yegana, uh, Chrissy Wright, Boss Hog, Tony D, and Brandon Contreras. If I mispronounce anything, I do apologize, but thank you for commenting during the last video. What is going on? I want to start with this because, yeah, we are going to talk about the stocks, but shout out to you, Jeff Bezos, because a lot of people need to understand that not everybody is born with a silver spoon in their hand. Uh, here you go. My first job and still the same great hamburger. Uh, burger. Happy Sunday, Jeff Bezos. Man, shout out, dude. I got to tell you, a lot of us have been uh, out there working in different industries. And I always think it's it's good to see one of the richest people in the world being humble. And so I like that. I like seeing that. So very interesting to see how he's sharing part of his past. Now, as you can see, this is yesterday's market. We can see how everything kind of closed down. It was red. and But we had some green with some of the growth stocks out there. Neo uh, doing well. Lucid. Tesla continuing to drop a little bit. We'll see how all this goes. I know a lot of people believe the markets are going to be primed to go backwards. And as you can see, year to date, we are coming off those recent highs. Uh, the big level for me is at 10646. I don't want to see us drop below there. I believe it could get ugly if we do. I don't believe we're going to. I believe we're going to have a solid run to end uh, 2022, but we'll wait and see. Now, the first of the best stocks to buy now. Here you go. These, when I talk about these, and you can see it's Apple. I just want to clarify a few things before we get into the details, the nitty gritty. I want to talk about why I believe these stocks. These stocks are going to be game changers in terms of leading the economy, leading the sectors, leading the markets. They're going to be the ones that are going to be able to out I'd say outlast a lot of these smaller growth companies. These are the ones that have the money. They have the, the moat, as Warren Buffett would say, around their businesses. No one's going to come in here and dominate them. All right. Now, it doesn't mean all the stocks we're going to talk about today, but definitely the first three, I think, have a huge moat that no one's going to be able to touch. All right. In other words, when I look at these stocks and you can even see some of the P ratios for some of these companies could absolutely continue to grow just massively. And the first one, just looking at once again, like Apple, you can see I have a PE 26 right now. And I think the growth potential for a lot of these companies, once we get through a lot of catalysts out there that are holding us back, the negative catalysts, such as the supply chains, COVID, uh, right now, a lot of issues with inflation. Once that all goes away, don't be surprised to see Apple just go through the roof. And so I do love this one long term down 13.62% for this year. And I think that to me is like giving you a the perfect house at a discount. Long term, you know the house is going to go higher. Everybody's going to demand it. It's going to be good. So that is my first of the best stocks to buy now. I haven't done one of these in a long time. So if somebody said to me, I want to make a portfolio, I want you to give me three stocks that you would say I should keep in there, continue to dollar cost average for the long term. 
Apple's going to be your first one. I think Apple's going to give you a good opportunity. And uh, of course, you can go ahead and play the swing trades. If you believe the market's going to collapse, you can always go short the market and come back. But if you're looking for something, you're like, hey, I just, I'm just going to put money in through it. Well, this is be one that I would make sure I got into. Amazon, the other one. Here you go. Amazon is the second one. And Amazon to me, obviously, when you think, and I always look at what I do personally as a family, as my wife, my kids, everybody, when they're buying stuff, where's the first place they go to buy something? I don't even care if it's a new charger for my laptop, if it's a, a couple of articles of clothing, whatever they need, I can tell you, they go to Amazon and buy. That's where they do it. And so I think the average family out there is much the same of just, hey, let's just get it off Amazon. You know, you look up the prices everywhere. Where's the final place you check the price? Amazon. And Amazon usually wins that that bet. Usually they have the, the, the cheapest price. And then on top of that, they get that shipped to you within a day or two max. And so a lot of people now moving that way. I think Amazon is going to continue to be a monster. Look at this discount, 25.6%. And in my opinion, as we start to look at these five years, where they're going to be, we're going to hit new highs within a year or two. All right. And so when you see it at 185, that is going to be about a 40 to 50 percent hike from where we are now. And I think that happens within the next year or two. So if I tell you, worst case scenario, we got to go two years, but you'll get new highs. Well, that's a 50 percent gain in two years. Does it not mean that it could drop more? It could drop more. I'm not saying it can't. I'm saying in the long run, give it two years. We'll be up there. New highs we will be through a lot of the negative catalysts out there unless something drastically bad happens. New strain of COVID locks down the entire world. Uh, I would expect things to get back to normal before uh, a lot of people expect it. And so I think that the next one, Google, man, this to this day is still one of my favorite stocks in the world. Google. And where do you go when you search anything? Who owns YouTube? Google. Google is a powerhouse. And I'm going to tell you what, I absolutely love this company. I think it, you know, look at the PE ratio on this thing, 20.82. I think they're going to do very well once we get through some of these negative catalysts out there and, of course, a possible recession. If we do go into a recession, what's the first thing that's going to get hit? Advertising. So they still could see a little bit of downward push. And I think that's one of the reasons if we look year to date, they're down 25 percent and down there close to lows. A lot of people worried about these recessions and the advertisers, these companies that rely on those dollars, take a hit. And so that is one I think is out there. But. You can't grow without advertising. So, And YouTube continues to grow in popularity. And I have a feeling that it's going to continue to do that. The next of the best stocks to buy now, and we're talking growth stocks. We're talking a little bit of risk. I love NVIDIA. I think with their AI technology, uh, their chips, everything they're doing, they're going to continue to be a monster. And they are on deep sale right now. If you look, they're down 49.89%. What was a, a big fear that the chips, we can't get enough. Everything else is turning into uh, we could have way too many. And so we're going to watch. But it comes down to uh, their development. Check this out how much this is down. Like I said, 54.78%. This is NVIDIA we're talking about. This company is solid. They have a great lineup. And I believe moving forward, they're going to continue to dominate in the AI as well as the chips. So we'll find out how they do. But I like the discount. I think this stock will have a good run as we move forward. It's another one of these stocks I think will average 25% gains over the next two years. In other words, from now, I expect 25% and another 25%. Give me two years. We'll see if this price gets back up there above 225. I think it will. Uh, and that'll give us at least a 50% gain. And so that's how I'm looking at that one. And of course, I cannot tell you how much I think that NEO, my last of the best growth stocks to buy now, this is the kind of stock that I look at. And I got to tell you, they're doing everything I, I believe a company that should be growing outstandingly. This is the kind of company I look at. They are, they're expanding aggressively. They're trying to get into many countries by the end of 2025, including the U.S. We had Lee here a couple of weeks ago, and they're scouting out the real estate, doing everything they want for that. I think if they can set up manufacturing in multiple countries like Tesla did and get that expansion full speed, get the EV technology out there, beautiful cars, do what they need to do. They could be a monster in this game. Now, the question is, are they going to? You know, and that's the big thing. Now, the auditing thing, we know that's starting to get cleared up nicely. So the trolls don't have much to say about that. And of course, that's going to uh, give us another positive catalyst once NEO is covered under that. 
and uh, we'll move forward. We'll move forward. I know the uh, uh, the auditing is looking at Alibaba right now and JD, JD.com. And so we'll go from there and we'll see how much money is going to be made. But I can't end with this because to me, if you, you know, I give you the top, the first three in my mind should be the foundation. This should be the foundation when it comes to crypto. I think this thing goes 10 to 100 times uh, in the next decade or two. And I think it should get up to 10,000 minimum by the end of 2025. And so at that point, we will start to slow the growth of the price, but it still has a good chance to have a, a huge run. And so I think Ethereum needs to make up at least 5% to 10% of every given portfolio, 5% for anybody who is non-aggressive, just a regular 95%, you know, you're putting in bonds, you're putting in equities, and then 5% should be uh, crypto. And I think it should be Ethereum. If you really want to be safe, you can do 2.5% Bitcoin, 2.5% Ethereum and leave it at that. And as your portfolio grows, you grow with it. Make sure it always, uh, you're putting in, uh, like if you put in $100, 2.5 is in Bitcoin, 2.5 is in Ethereum. I'm going the full five, actually I'm doing 10%, 10% uh, Ethereum uh, as I up my, if I have a $100, I'll put $10 in Ethereum, $90 in stocks. Uh, you can break that up with uh, bonds, like I said, and equities, but that's up to you. But I definitely believe this if you go out to the max, 13,000% up, this thing, it's going to be a monster. The merge is coming. We know that should be done before the end of September, by September 20th at the latest. And uh, that should give it the positive boost we're looking for. And I think it gets back. I'll say it again. I think Ethereum gets up to 2,500 by the end of this year. I think we see a 800 or $935 pop from here by the end of this year. We'll see if I'm right. See if I'm wrong. We never know. That's the, the joy of investing, that it's a wild ride. At the end of the day, uh, I do believe these uh, top five stocks to buy now that I mentioned today, as well as this crypto, Ethereum, and the Ethereum price prediction I gave you, should do very well. And it should make up almost every single portfolio, depending who you are. Uh, I know some people don't like too much risk, and that's a whole different video. But now one of the best things you can do at this point, don't leave the free money on the table. Hit the Moo Moo link right below the video. Put $100 in and you're going to get yourself six free stocks worth up to $15,000. And uh, on top of that, make sure you hit the Weeble link and put a dollar in. You'll get up to 12 free stocks. So they give you some opportunities to get some free cash there. And then on top of that, you come on over to the Patreon. Click the link down below. You can see all my portfolios. Join the private Discord. And we have a good uh, thing going on over there. And we're discussing our strategies moving forward. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.